here from this we can say that chord ad passes through fixed point on x axis Question is, uh, two rods of lengths A and B slides along the x-axis and y-axis respectively in such a manner that their ends are concyclic. क्या हो रहा है यहाँ पे? दो rods हैं. एक rod का length जो है वो A है, वो x-axis के along slide हो रहा है, ठीक है? दूसरा जो rod है, उसकी length B है, वो y-axis के along slide हो रहा है. और उसके जो end points है मतलब जो चार points है this four points are concyclic we know that four points are not always concyclic for concyclic points we have some conditions which we will be using in the locus we have to find the locus of the center of the circles passing through this end points so let's start with the diagram we have here coordinate axis now first of all let's draw the circle which intersect x axis and y axis like this this is a center of the circle now this is rod of length a Okay, so we have this rod. The length of this rod is A units. Okay, suppose this is point A and this is point B. And uh, this rod of length uh, B units this is sliding along y axis suppose this is point c this is point d length of this rod is b we have to find locus of this center of the circle aap dekh sakte hain ki ye jo do end points hain wo fixed nahi hai ye slide kar raha hai to ye variable end points hain ye dono points bhi variable end points hain so we have variable circle passing through this four points in that case this center is also variable then we have to find locus of the center. So, jiska locus nikalna hai, usko assume kar lete hai. Suppose uh, uh, this is point uh, H comma K, say this is point P. Now we have two chords of the circle and uh, uh, here we have center. Jab bhi chords hote hai circle ke center hai, generally hum kya karte hai? What we do generally? We draw perpendiculars from center upon chords this is midpoint of ab circle ka ek property hota hai suppose this is uh, point e similarly from this point uh, center we drop perpendicular on this chord okay uh, this is also midpoint of uh, uh, cd suppose this is point uh, f this two distances are equal these two distances are equal. E is equal to EB and here CF is equal to FD. Kaise nikalenge point P ka locus? H and K ko hume relate karna hai. Kaise relate karenge? Idea simple hai. Join these two points. This is radius of the circle. Okay, now AP is radius of the circle. How you get the radius of the circle? This AB length is A. Here I have written A, but this is not A, this is actually AB. A distance is A upon 2. This height is K. Uh, y coordinate of point P. This width is uh, H. Uh, this chord has length B. So CF is uh, uh, B upon 2. So we can get radius from two triangles. That is uh, triangle PEA and uh, PBC. So we can compare uh, distances uh, AP and uh, uh, CP or we have AP square is equal to CP square. What is AP square from triangle AEA? It is uh, 
a square upon 4 plus k square and cp square from triangle p f c we have uh, b square upon 4 plus h square that's it we got the relation between h and k now what we do we replace h by x and k by y so we get locus x square minus y square is equal to a square minus b square upon 4 we will find this uh, later. This is equation of hyperbola. In fact, this is rectangular hyperbola. But for time being, uh, we have this locus of center of variable circles. So, the main concept The main concept is that of uh, properties of circle. Jo aap 9th and 10th mein properties of circle padte hain. Jo aap study karte hain. Yahan pe uska application hai. In the form of coordinate system. हमें बस करना है क्या है? Geometry हमारे पास है, उसको distance में, angle में, इन सब जगह पे use करना है coordinate geometry में. 